Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you all made it through the animation tutorials because this is going to be the last one for a while. Then we can move on to layers. So, sometimes when you're animating, say, like the scale, and let me just uh, make a simple animation real quick. We'll do it from zero. I'm just going to up the scale to 200. Sometimes when you're animating these, it doesn't look quite right when you increase percentages like this. You can see it goes really fast in the beginning, and then at the end, he scales way slower. That's because you're working with percentages, and that's uh, how, how like pretty much math works. So I'm going to turn this off. You want it, if you want it to be exponentially growing with the speed, so you want this guy to start out slower and then exponentially and gradually get faster, then I'll show you how to do that right now. You want to select both your keyframes, right click, and go to Keyframe Assistant Exponential Scale. Now you can see all the keyframes that it creates, which is kind of annoying, but if you don't need to animate it anymore, then it's okay. So let's click on the graph editor and see what it looks like. This is how the graph editor works for the position or for the scale now. And that's a pretty nice, nicely curved graph. Starts out slow as hell in the beginning and then goes fast. So let's watch this. Now, as you're watching it, you might see a problem. The animation is basically nothing right now. Right in the right in the beginning has nothing for a while, and then it comes out flying. So to fix that, there is a workaround that I always that I kind of like figured out. So I Control Z to get rid of your keyframes there, so that you only had the two starting ones. Go to your first keyframe and change that to 2%. Now we can time reverse, or now we can uh, exponential scale these uh, keyframes. Oh, I guess I didn't click on it. Let's click on this one. And exponential scale. And we'll go to the graph editor and check it out. You can see it's different. It's more, instead of having almost nothing and then right here going up, it's uh, exponentially scaling differently. So let's take a look at the RAM preview. Alright, let's preview. Hold on, let me get out of the graph editor, I guess. Uh, this is a, a small glitch in After Effects that happens every once in a while. The way to fix this glitch, the only one that I know right now is to get to like close and then reopen the project. So I'm going to save it, close, I'm just going to close out of After Effects, and then I'll open my old project. So my After Effects is on just a, a regular hard drive so it takes forever to open so let's uh, ramp preview this again and now you can see how the, the the scaling is different and it doesn't wait like 20 minutes in the beginning for it to even appear Hopefully I didn't have anything too embarrassing on my desktop there when I had to change out. I don't think there is. Uh, I don't want to check anymore. But anyways, in a later tutorial, I'll show you how to basically edit the, the speed of that without having to go through all these keyframes. You pretty much take this comp and put it into another comp and timer remap the other comp so I'll teach that in a, a later tutorial down the road 
and this will be the last time you'll hear from me about animation for a little bit we'll go on to layers and hopefully it's just as exciting <laughs> so let's uh i'll give a, a cheers for finishing the animation section for a while and let's go and have a party no but really beer pong at my house tonight see you there i'll invite bucky so you guys can meet him see you around and uh, i look forward to seeing you guys uh and the next tutorials